Hey, hi. Say hello. I don't know who. Oh, three. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Uh, me and Billy Bob are on the beach again. You can see beautiful blue sky. Actually, it's quite warm down here. It's a little bit of a breeze. I'm, I'm hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. I noticed when I watched the video back the other day, um, the wind noise was really bad. So apologies for that. I'm not quite sure what the solution to that is with the phone. Um, uh, mate, I am absolutely toasty. It is. It was exceptional. Um, I think it's going to be a challenge for me to do that every time I come fishing now. It's going to be a, one of those things, I think. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. To be recommended. Yeah, to be recommended. And my feet, my feet are glowing. Inside my boots. Really hot. It's giving me a bad hair though, it's done my hair. <laughs> Not that I've got my head in the water, but it's, uh, clearly it's giving me a bad hair day. Hey, Fishing UK, mate, how you doing? Um, do us a favour, can you tell me is the wind noise really bad? As I say, I noticed on that video the other day that when I played it back, it was, it was dreadful, it was really windy. I'm trying to put the thing down in the shelf spot here, hopefully out of the wind. Um, but... Uh, yeah, not easy to do. Unfortunately, this is a bloody. I have to see what I hate this phone. I really hate this phone. It's, a, it's an S20 um, Samsung. It's the worst phone I've ever had. And you, you, you have got any little mic jacks. You can't jack a mic into it. It's got, you've got a USB C, so I'm going to have to try and get a USB C adapter for it. Because um, I've got I've got wireless mics on the main camera, uh, which work really well, and they probably work well for this. Okay. Hi man. Hey mate, fishing's fishing's great. I haven't caught anything. I'm getting the baits robbed by the crabs. Um, so I can't leave them out too long before I bring them in and test them, check them. Uh, but uh, like I said last time I was down here, you know something? Fish are a bonus on a day like today. It is uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, having been for a swim in the sea, it feels like a hot summer's day to me now. I'm glowing absolutely glowing so i do recommend that as i say it's going to be a bit of a challenge see if i can do it um, most days when i come down here i'll bring some swimming costume and a, and, a, and a towel next time my pants are hanging up on the uh, in fact they're not they're blown off my, hand, my pants are hanging up to dry because i couldn't put on wet pants my swimming pants there was a poor lady down here who i asked to stay and keep an eye just in case i didn't come out so she got to see me in my, in my underwear <laughs> Uh, yeah, the things you see down the beach. Seems to be, ever since they put that thing out on television about um, cold water swimming, there seems to be loads of people doing it. There's a bunch of people to my right who are either going in or have been in. Oh no, they got wetsuits over there, wusses. Uh, wetsuits are wusses. <laughs> I wear a wetsuit in the summer one when, when I want to spend a long time there. I wasn't in there for very long. The target species today is fish. No, it's place. Place. Place is the target species. There are plenty of place about. Um, it's we were the place can get through the crabs here, is the answer. George, how you doing, mate? Thanks very much for your help um, doing the old um, thing you do. Uh, I, I I think I've subscribed to Super Super Chats, whatever that is. So if anybody wants to um, ping some money and get a Super Chat, it's all well, it's all well. what you under, what don't understand is, is I do make a little bit of money out of YouTube, but I spend way more than that in buying kit and, and what have you. So um, yeah, if I can get it to fund itself, that'd be great. So, also, I do understand. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give me money. <laughs> oh, perhaps I would. I don't know. Uh, Usasanga, you know what follows the crabs in? Not long, and it all starts showing. Yeah, that is what I'm hoping. The trouble is that the smooth hounds turn up here when the spider crabs do, and spider crabs really are. Yeah, guys, share, 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 share. Yeah, get my numbers up. Um, I've got. Just so you 
know I've got luggies. Um, I've got a sticker on my box now. So, see that? Let me get out of the way so you can see it. So, got a few more stickers on my box. So, luggies on there. Uh, Eastbourne Angler, or Eastbourne Fisherman, and I've got an Angling Trust sticker on there. I don't know what your views are on the Angling Trust, but I think that they have done us a lot of good this year. Uh, and so we should be supporting them. Um, I put a video out about tide mills. I'm, again, I don't know if you've seen it, but I'm doing a series of um, videos about a book by a guy called John Darling. He wrote a book in 1982, or was published in 1982, which visited areas all the way around the country, Great Britain and Ireland, and, and wrote about fishing marks. And so what I'm doing, what we're doing is, um, is we're going to try and update it via YouTube, um, visit some of those marks again and sort of talk about how they are now. So I did an episode on tide mills which is where I'm fishing today and the east arm of Newhaven which you can see over in the distance there uh, which is the nearest jetty that you can see this side uh, so I did an article about that on YouTube recently um, oh good thanks mate <laughs> yeah the rest of the series that's it is, it is a challenge um, I've got I've got a number of YouTube vloggers involved in it there's a little group of us traveling um <laughs> any advice on going live pipe mate i am i just this is yeah i'm a virgin the people to talk to is george uh, luggy luggy does a lot um but i'm learning i really am learning and i don't know if i'm doing it right i'm just i'm just doing what i do really um you might hate it and in fact if anybody's got any advice for me if you like what i do or you don't like what i do or, or suggest that i do something different please tell me because i will i will listen um best to best to pm me that i guess rather than put it on here although you, you can you can open a debate if you want um yeah there's a couple, there's a couple down there putting on wetsuits to go swimming oh what what wimps <laughs> what wimps I, my video of this episode will show me in my underpants. Um, <laughs> will show me in my underpants actually going in the sea just to prove that I did it. Um, not a pleasant sight. You might, you might have it indelibly scarring on the inside of your eyelids when you see it. But um, yeah, go with the flow. That's what I'm. That's all I'm doing. And that's the same to um, whoever asks the question. Just go with the flow. Do what you do. I think you've got to do your own thing. Um, you know, I, lo I watch a lot of YouTube. I've got a lot of, a lot of YouTube channels that I really enjoy. But I try not let them infect me with their style. So I try and keep my own style. Um, love it or hate it, really. Uh, I'm not there up in the uh, hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Um, Luggy's got his own style. Hey, Shazo. I say just go with the flow. Yeah, Shazzo, exactly right, mate. Shazzo Wazzo. Uh, yeah, go with the flow. Just do what you do. And, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the old movie with Kevin Costner. If, if you build it, they will come. You know, if you if you do a thing and it's natural, people will come and watch you. Uh, there's a guy I watch in Australia all the time. And he's got, he doesn't seem to have any, any format to what he does. He just goes out and enjoys himself. And it's so infectious. I mean, he's living in paradise. Hey, Shazda Wazza from USA. Where are you from in the USA, mate? Hi, right, from the USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Scott. Hi. Uh, so I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to read these um, messages, and they disappear off my screen really quickly. I think I can get them back. Right. West Wales. Scott Harris, West Wales. Oi, oi. Yeah. 
liked and shared, mate. Thank you very much. Um, let's uh, go with the flow. Yeah, Shazo, mate. Shazo, if you like what I'm doing. Oh, Ohio. <laughs> Left 21 years ago. I, I must admit, I have been to Ohio. I do like Ohio. Um, I spent some time in Kentucky. I like Kentucky, I have to say. If I was going to move. In the only trouble with Kentucky, it's too far from the sea. Um, and Ohio, I go. Because so Ohio hasn't got a coast. You've got the Ohio River and lots of lakes and everything. Um, yeah, I did, uh, I did nearly get picked up and laid in Ohio. <laughs> in a bar in the Greyhound station or near the Greyhound station as I recall. It was very close, it was a very close call. Uh, unfortunately, um, my friend's mother turned up and rescued me from my um, evil ways. <laughs> is that, is it? Yeah, I, I bet the Ohio River is good for fishing. Um, what, bass, I guess bass is the big thing in the States, isn't it? I have been bass fishing in the States, I haven't yet to catch one. Um, I went in, in Florida, I went bass fishing in Florida with silvers, five silvers, uh, and I had one really good, decent run. <laughs> you old tart, yeah. Yeah, baby, I was, I, I behaved myself now, I behaved myself, I've, been, I've done my tartish ways. Um, it costs you a lot of money in the end. So that last night, three, what? Whoops, and a ting. Oh, okay. Hey, not a blank. Not a blank. I, 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 I anticipate blanking today, but I'm going to fish through till dark. Um, the place seemed to be coming. The place seemed to be coming on the ebb, which is unusual. And the place I've had, I've only had a couple, have all come just before dark. So I'm sort of, sort of quietly ambitious that that's when it's going to happen. Um, you know, who knows? There is loads of place here. I know there are loads of place here, but there is an awful lot of crabs as well. And uh, the crabs are, as, as I've made a video of it, I filmed it, um, I filmed it, um, and you can see the crabs actually fighting the place off the bait. So. <laughs> Some people in there in wetsuits dancing around like it. Yeah. Look, let me just have a look. See, that's, that's, that's just being a worse wearing a wetsuit. <laughs> I went in my pants. That's full on, full on. As I say, you will see the video. It will be out later. Uh, I'm, doing a, I'm doing a video that's in um, two days on the beach, basically. I've done the first day, uh, which I caught one place. Uh, and it'd be nice if I could eat all that again today. I'm going to have to check these baits in the very shortly because I've say there's there is an awful lot of crabs here and they are devouring the baits. I've got three rods out, I've got two which are fishing and I've got one that's got a camera on it. Um, I put a camera out the other day but I reckon it was about 10 inch 10, 10 inches of um, 10 inches of visibility if that because we've got a big shore crab came along and obviously the shore cab came and checked out the camera because you can see it's got arms around the camera shaking it about and then it walked off and it just vanished into the murk so you couldn't even see my baits you could see the swivel at the start of my rig and then that was it so i'm hoping i'm hoping it's, it's still murky here but i'm hoping it's improved enough that you will be able to see something on the camera so anyway it's all experimentation i always i'm, I'm always trying i never i never sit still with fishing I, I'm always trying something new perhaps I ought to sit still um, but I'm always trying something different um, yeah right I've got a few guys guys and gals from the states on here well you're welcome you're well welcome it's good to speak good, good to see you on here um, I do like the states I go skydiving in Florida quite a lot um, I've been skydiving in Kentucky, uh, I've been skydiving in uh, Canada, and I have been skydiving in Texas. So I do go over there and I go and jump out of aeroplanes when I can. It's a lot more relaxed than it is here. It's a little bit stricter here I think, than it is in the States. Um, yeah. 
can't do that at the moment in the UK because obviously you've got to sit next to each other in a little aeroplane and the Civil Aviation Authority has basically said you can't do it until I think it's May before we can go again. So it's going to be interesting. I've put on a few pounds. Mate, skydiving is amazing. It really is. If you're capable and fit and you want to do it, go and do it. Go and do it. It's one of those things that you do crap yourself. The first few, you go up and you are thinking, what am I doing here? And you have major butterflies going on. And then one day you go up and you go, ooh, this butterfly's gone. But I don't get butterflies anymore. Um, but you land and literally your cheek muscles hurt because you're grinning so much. Uh, yeah, fantastic sport. Absolutely, can't beat it. Um, if, you, if you go back through my back catalogue, eventually you will find some skydiving videos on there. Um, and there's, there's a video of me jumping with Michael Schumacher in um, Fishing Frustrations. Hi, mate. Um, hi, guys and girls. Yeah, Shazza, give it a go, mate. Give it a go. I'm sure wherever you are, Southern Ohio, there must be a drop zone near there. Um, as I went, I went in Kentucky. I went near. Um, uh, what's the name of the place where the gold reserve is? The um, Fort Knox. I went near Fort Knox. So you're looking down on Fort Knox, um, which was quite fun. And the guy who was running the place was absolutely barking mad. And, he, 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 you know, when you go to the drop zones, normally the chief instructors ask you a few questions to uh, make sure you're not, you know, you know what you're doing. And he was going, what's that? So what's the first rule of skydiving? And I kind of, safe, uh, pull, your, pull, pull your reserve. Uh, I go, no, no. He said, no, the first rule of skydiving, have fun. Yeah, true. Yeah, fantastic. Anyway, today we're fishing. this in now um, fishing frustrations yeah fishing frustrations it, it, it is frustrating isn't it? Fishing. I think if it wasn't if it wasn't frustrating you wouldn't do it you know if you just came here and you caught thousands of fish it become boring um, you know, it needs to be a challenge doesn't it it needs to be a challenge well it would be nice to catch the old fish I'll check these rods see if I've got any I'm just going to finish my tea and then Turn the camera around so you can see. Um, we're winding it in. I've got three really nice rods now. Um, two, I've got two of my old Ziplexes, uh, which I've had rebuilt. Uh, and there's a guy, Matt Gifford, in Eastbourne, done a really good job of that. And then I bought a um, pre-used, but to be honest, I don't think it's been used. It, it's, it's like it's brand new. An M4 um, GT, just a fantastic rod. And I've got three new multipliers. Again, started out this kind of um, project on comparing and revisiting, returning to the multiplier. And like most things, I've gone over the top of it. <laughs> so, yeah. around let's watch the sea you're not going to be able to hear me talking so talk about yourselves guys George keep occupied start a quiz or something um,
and two hook screws. Yeah, loads of things here. Oh, there, like a pig. Oh no, what's going on? <laughs> Slug, yeah. Plenty of them out there, but it's not a blank. I feel place coming out. Yeah, I do. I use this. Hill bro, yeah, he used to say angler. Hi Kebsa. <laughs> Hi Kebsa sis. No worries George. Better get yourself back to Kentucky mate. Oh man. Yeah, I've got some good friends in Kentucky. Um, that's why I wear real tree camouflage all the time. It's kind of a reminding myself of uh, Kentucky. It's kind of their national dress, isn't it? Uh, funny stuff, sorry Sandy, I thought you had deleted it Sandy, hi Frint and hello fishing frustrations after all, why was me quoting a line from the film relating to that ring tone deleted? Uh, that might seem like, uh, squeal like a pig.
Yeah, I, I'm missing something here, but I'm guessing we're talking about a deliverance. Uh, hi, dude. Hi, mate. No, no, no. Hi, yes. Uh, I can still. I can't tell the thing. I have to sort of my gear and tackle whatever I can. Mate, respect to you. Respect to you. There are too many, I believe, who have been ignoring this lockdown for the duration of the lockdown. And if it, if we get another lockdown, it will be their fault. So you know, I respect you for that. I didn't fish for most of the lockdown. I've only started coming when the R number dropped down and when I had my first inoculation, to be quite honest, because you know what, I don't want to catch it. Um, um, yeah, 29th's not far away. I can't take my boat out to the 29th. Um, I've got a service booked in that week because I can't get in the boat yard until that week. And then I'm going to be out, hopefully, weather everything for me in Easter weekend and we'll try and do a live from the boat. ringtone any place Chris mate not yet um, mate <laughs> yeah yeah because it is it's duly banjo's engine deliverance isn't it you're absolutely right what a classic bit of film that is what a classic it's I've, I've been learning to play the banjo strangely um, don't ask me why I like the sound of it um, it's not easy it's difficult especially if you're not musically thing, which I'm not but and I can play dueling banjo. Well, I can play the introduction of dueling banjos. I can't do all the diddly 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 bit. But to be quite honest with you, to do that justice, you've got to be playing with a guy on the guitar and and duel with each other. So you've got to play off each other. But yeah, I do like the banjo. I haven't been doing much just recently, but um, I love it. I did actually one of my films in Cornwall um, in the, in the autumn. I did actually fin in the film with me sitting by a fire on my own playing a banjo. I didn't get many thumbs up to it, <laughs> to be truthful, but whatever, I do it because I enjoy it. Oh man, yeah, people think, so. I, I, I tell you what, I'm, I'm getting sick of arguing with twats on Facebook about it. it my brother-in-law died, um, my ex-wife, from she, well we're still married, but um, we've been separated for quite a few years. She's been in hospital for six weeks now. Um, she can't breathe. She's going to be an invalid for the rest of her life with it. So it isn't a hoax. It's real. Yeah. It's, you know, whatever people say about it, uh, 125,000 people have died as a result of it. You know, that's more than died in the Blitz. And was anybody saying the Germans bombing London was a bloody hoax? I don't think so. Hey, Shazza Wazzo, mate, if you're off, I'll see you later. Shazza Wazzo. No, I, I, again, you know, safe and sorry. I don't want it. I, I, you know, I'm in my 60s now. I've probably got 20 years of good life left. But if I got coronavirus, Whatever, whatever I'd have left would not be good life. It'd be walking around with an oxygen bottle hanging on my belt. I ain't, I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, mate, it goes all the way around the country. Let me have a look, let me have a look at Southampton. Let me have a look at Southampton. I've got the book here. See this? It's talking about Southampton. Let's read you about Southampton. Hailing Island, Portsmouth area, Southampton Water. Southampton Water consists of deep water channel and a profusion of mud flats, flounders, place, silver eels, mullet, bass, whiting, pouting, dogfish, and the occasional skate are taken from this unlovely area. Southampton Pier is closed and fishing from the docks is told. I mean, some of this is historical. Um, goes on to Lep Leap. Um, Limington. So yes, it does mention Southampton. Um, that's that's the map of the obviously all the things are marked are things that he gets a mention to. So yes, it is mentioned. 
So I'm not I'm not asking that people give away any secrets. I'm really not. Um, what I'm asking is that we just update what it says in his book. Uh, if if you are from Southampton and you want to help me with this, maybe we can meet up. Um, you can give me some information about how it's fishing at the moment. We'll go and have a look at it together. I'm, I'm tending not to fish when I go and do the episodes on locations. I'm just going to the location and looking at it. So my, my episode on Tide Mills, which is where we are at the moment, and the East Arm, I had a rod with me. I was practicing casting, but I wasn't fishing. There's too much to say. There's too much to do. Um, and it's... I, I like doing it. It's, it's another interesting string to my bow with regard to YouTube. Um, and then I did right up the far end there, Seaford Beach, uh, in a previous episode. I'm restricted to where I can go at the moment until the 29th of March. My interpretation of it is that you stay local, and this is my local beach. Uh, I'm not even going. I mean, Langley Point and Eastbourne is fishing its socks off at the moment. Tony Curridge was out yesterday, was getting, no, was it yesterday or the day before, was getting triple hookups for place. So, you know, it's fishing its box off at the moment, but it's not my local beach. It's not my local area, and I'm, I'm sticking to those rules. Yeah, I'm not preaching. If, if, you, if you choose to interpret the rules differently, that's up to you. and she has a habit of ringing and ringing and ringing until someone answers so I might have to end this for a little while and, and chat to my mother I've got my all singing all dancing cameras come back from the States it's sitting in customs at Gatwick Airport at the moment and as I've just explained to UPS it's my camera I paid tax on it I paid it on it because I bought it. I've had to send it back to the States to get it fixed. And some jobs worth is saying, well, yeah, but you're going to have to prove that, otherwise we're going to have to make you pay tax on it again. Really? What's happening? Am I, am I still going out there? Oh, I've got loads of messages. Uh, hello, bro. No, 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 no. Yeah, how was Bexhill? Um, my, my daughter's in Bexhill at the moment. Um, when I can visit her again, I'll go and do a set of fishing session over there. Do an article about it. Yeah, um, what jab are you having, Ke Kev, sir? If you're having the AstraZeneca, can I recommend something I heard the other day? So take a paracetamol before you go, and take some paracetamol after you've had it. Uh, my partner had had it um, the other day, and she did actually get quite. Well, she got mild. She didn't think it was mild, but it was flu symptoms the next day. But I've heard people who've taken the paracetamol beforehand um, it seems to fight that off. So if you are going, take a paracetamol just as a just as a as a preemptive of it. I had the uh, uh, Pfizer one, and, uh, and apart from some strange reactions um, because they make Viagra, don't they, Pfizer? Um, <laughs> I was going to make a joke about it, but I can't without being very rude. Um, yeah, I got I felt like I'd been bruised on the arm. That was it. I didn't get any symptoms from it at all. But AstraZeneca, I am hearing that people do get a little bit of a sort of fluey feeling hot and cold flushes the next day yeah anyway I was fishing from Bexhill so that was that was where you got your slug was it uh, oh, no, 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 no. Some messages have been deleted there because you left on them, George. Thanks for that. If they're inappropriate, yeah, quite a few deleted messages there. 
uh, Skippy Kung Fu. Oi, oi. <laughs> I don't know where you guys all get your guys and gals get your nicknames from, but uh, they're always amusing. Mine's simple. CJ is my first and my middle middle initial. So, um, and my company is C J S E A J A Y. Um, basically, some some kind of bird that doesn't exist. Right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to um, finish this for now. I might come back on a bit later on. Um, I'm gonna have to speak to my mother because she get angry about it. I didn't answer the phone. Uh, and um, I'm going to say cheerio to you all and um, as I say a bit later on I think when the sun starts to go down maybe I'll uh, I'll do some more and get, show you the sunset because I think it's going to be quite a special sunset I've got my drone with me today so if, if, as long as the wind stays low like this I might put the drone up and get some sunset sunset, sunset shots so Thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to see you all um, a bit later on, maybe. Ciao.